Today on this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the Trek Checkpoint AL3. The Checkpoint is a gravel series from Trek that basically designs a bike that's going to be rugged, comfortable, and be able to run wide tires to tackle some gravel terrain. It's got a geometry that's somewhere between their Trek Domani Endurance bike and their Crockett or Boone series of cyclocross bikes. Basically, the AL series is now their lower priced, least expensive option. And the AL3 indicates that it's an aluminum frame and the three is the Shimano Sora group set that's on this bike. So let's take a look at some of the features of this bike. We'll go ahead and find out what it weighs. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future. So as I said, this is an aluminum frame. This is going to be an all aluminum frame set here and it uses Trek's own Alpha 200 aluminum and that's gonna be a mid-level aluminum frame set so you can see there is shaping and manipulation to the tubing. The head tube is tapered so you go inch and an eighth all the way down to inch and a half and it connects up with a OCLV carbon fiber fork. So this is a carbon fork that comes on the bike. Now it is gonna be running an aluminum steer tube. So the steer tube inside of the bike is aluminum, but the fork blades are gonna be carbon. On the back of the bike, you'll see still aluminum goes down to a threaded bottom bracket which is a great feature for this style of bike something that's going to be easy to maintain and very very nice and then in the back you're going to be set up also with aluminum dropouts and i should mention that this bike is through axle both front and rear so the rear through axle on this is a 12 by 142 and the front through axle on this is a 12 by 100. Now the brakes that are on this bike is a flat mount version of the TRP Spire brake. Made it up to 160 millimeter rotor on six bolt hubs. That's gonna be the same for the front and the rear. And it's actually gonna be using Bontrager's new Affinity Series rim. So this is a new disc only rim from Bontrager for this year. Uh, it's actually really quite nice. Uh, this rim itself is gonna be 28 millimeters deep and just about 21 millimeters wide on the internal. So it's gonna make for a very nice wheel to be able to carry these 700 by 32C tires. I should mention it comes with 32C tires, but if you look at the clearance, we do have a reasonable amount of clearance in here. I measured it out and it looks like safely you could run a set of 38s or maybe even a narrow 40 millimeter tire would fit. You can see that they've done some great manipulation down near the crank set and on the seat stays, there's plenty of clearance as well. Now this bike is set up with Shimano's Sora 9-speed, so that's a 2 by front crank setup with a 5034 chainring set. And then in the rear, you're going to have Sora 9-speed as well. Nice thing about a 9-speed setup, especially for a gravel bike, is you could actually replace this Sora rear derailleur with a long cage version of the Shimano Livio and you could get a nice wide range using that 9-speed mountain derailleur because 9-speed road and mountain still use the same shift actuation. On the handlebar you're set up of course with those nice Sora 9-speed shifters and then it's going to be set up with a Bontrager comp handlebar and a blender stem. On the back you're going to have the Arvada comp saddle which is a nice comfortable saddle and a standard aluminum seat post. As far as carrying gear you've got a mount up top. This is going to be able to be set up with a bento box or a frame bag. Down on the down tube you're going to have a triple water bottle mount as well as triple mount on the seat tube as well. That makes for a really nice setup because you can run a frame bag, swap box, things like that. And then of course on the down tube near the crank set, you've got a third water bottle mount as well. The fork is set up with mounts for a rack and on the rear, you've got mounts for racks as well. 
Well, that's a look at the features of the Trek Checkpoint AL3. Let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. So this Trek Checkpoint AL3 in a size 58 comes in and weighs 23.5 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Trek Checkpoint AL3. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this setup. Be great to hear what your thoughts are on this entry level gravel grinding bike from Trek. As always, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future.